What's poppin' YouTube and everybody on YouTube? It's your boy King David. Back again with another one of them OG Cassie Mendoza vendor resets. Um, I have not looked into her inventory to see what she has. I want to do it with you guys. So we're going to be doing this right now together. The last few weeks, she hasn't had anything worth uh, purchasing. I mean, nothing that really stands out, but I mean, it's been like that for a while. But that doesn't mean just stop doing it. So let's get straight into the reason we're here. Nice of you to swing by. All right. So the first thing that she has is the Baker's Dozen. Total damage on that gun is 491K. Rifle damage 10%. Critical hit damage 11%. Reload speed 7.7. .7. And the talent <clears throat> has a perfect lucky shot. If this is something that you feel like um you want to work with it's here second um item is going to be the contractor gloves this is a pair of gloves that i know a lot of people was farming for um because of the eight percent damage to armor now the eight percent damage to armor used to be 15 percent um correct me if i'm wrong but it took a pretty decent nerf as did a couple other items in the game um the weapon damage on it is pretty low but i feel like these gloves can de definitely be worked with you can go either way with it you can keep the repair skills and roll the 15 percent weapon uh the 15 percent weapon damage due to the fact that repair skills is pretty good you know if you're specking into that i have noticed that repair skills it's pretty good you know so it's it, it's not a total bomb when it comes to these gloves right here, I would definitely purchase some of these for myself. And like I said, either go with the 15% weapon damage um, or roll or keep the 6.9% weapon damage, the damage to armor since it's maxed out, and then roll uh, critical hit damage or critical hit damage here. I'm pretty sure this is the, uh, I, I'm pretty sure critical hit damage is what rolls here. Um, so nine times out of ten, grab you a couple pair of these gloves, hold on to them, do what it is that you feel the need to do with them. Um, next item up is going to be the ongoing directive backpack. We all know by now what these uh, gear sets do. This one has 11.1 .1 damage, uh, weapon damage, and uh, 15,000 health. It has a utility mod slot, and you know what the talent is if you don't pause the video and go over it real quick um next item is going to be that negotiator's dilemma this this uh gear set right here is pretty strong i know a lot of you know exactly what this uh gear set does a lot of people feel like it's broken i feel like it's a part of the game you know um going on to the next we have a pair of hardwire gloves we already know what this does as well but um uh it has one skill tier and then 15,000 on the health and the tribute slot. Next up, we have the tip of the spear. Knee pads, weapon damage on that is going to be 10.8% and then 8.5% uh, hazard protection. I've been hearing that hazard protection, even if you have like around 90%, hasn't been working very well against a lot of the skills out there. Um, I don't have a hazard bill, so I'm not... 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that just like almost everything else in this game is probably true. Um, next item we have the Strikers Holster 9.1% weapon damage with a 6.1% explosive resistance. And let's move right along. Hardwire Mask, it's gonna come with one skill tier as its core tribute, um, and then the attributes. Down here is 9.6% skill haste, which I don't feel like is really good. I guess you could get this mask and roll something different there. It comes with a utility mod slot. So that's that. And then we have a police M4. This gun right here, I don't know if it's just my luck, but I can't find a decent one of these in this game to save my life. But anyway, this one comes with the low roll. Of 7% assault rifle damage, 9% health damage, and a high roll of 15% swaps uh swap speed. The only reason I would grab this gun pretty much is if 
you don't have swap speed in your library or you don't have this talent in your library that's the only reason i would get that gun uh next is going to be a, a shotgun or excuse me it's going to be a rifle looks like a shotgun to me but um it's going to be a rifle 10 percent rifle damage 13 percent critical hit damage five percent health damage total damage is going to be 589 uh, uh rpm of 100 and the max size is is five and boomerang is going to come with the talent of boomerang critical hits have a 50 percent chance to return the bullet to the magazine if a bullet return is returned to the magazine the next shot has a 40 percent um increase sorry about that if the bullet is returned to the magazine the next shot has uh, plus 40 percent increased damage uh this talent sounds pretty decent the rolls on it ain't all of that good once again it's going to be one of those things where you're going to look at this and you know if it works for you it works for you next is this going to be uh what kind of backpack? there's a 511 tactical backpack there are the stats for that talent to safeguard while at a full armor increases uh total skill pair by 100 percent uh we have a pair of Sokolov Concern knee pads with a 9% weapon damage, critical hit damage, 11% weapon handling. Once again, low rolls. Then we have our offensive systems, firearms mod with a 4.3% critical hit chance. You can get a lot higher than that. And then we have, for those of you running those shield builds, 4% shield health mod. Now, I would have thought by now, you know, the devs would get it together when it comes to these vendor resets. I mean, literally, there's absolutely nothing in these vendor resets that's going to grab anybody's eye. I'm going to continue to do these just due to the simple fact that I feel like eventually it'll get better, you know. Um, and once again, there's always something in here that someone may be able to use. There may be somebody out there right now searching for these gloves or been looking for these gloves for the whole time the game has been out due to the fact that the RNG in this game is pretty bad. Uh, so I'm going to continue to do these vendor resets and until they get it together. Hopefully they get it together and they make you guys actually want to watch a, ca a OG Cassie vendor reset. Anyway, uh, for those of you who did watch, I appreciate you guys taking the time to stop by um, and watch the video. If uh, you like what you saw, like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It does help the channel out. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these, as I said. And remember one thing. We lit. King shit. And I'm out. Girl about a ten. I should fuck her in the best. Yeah.